Today I wanted to go over a pelvic ultrasound in a patient with postmenopausal bleeding. As I scroll through here, just take one scroll through, you'll notice that the endometrium, which is this area right here, is heterogeneous. It's not a uniform echogenic stripe. There's intermixed cystic spaces, and I'll scroll back and forth to show you that. You can see there's intermixed cystic spaces. It's not uniform. It's thickened. We have a measurement coming up on one of the coming images, but for now, just take my word that it's thickened. There's intermixed cystic spaces, and this patient was on tamoxifen. And so these are classic findings for endometrial hyperplasia in which you have a heterogeneous endometrium, with, uh, which is thickened and has intermixed cystic spaces. On this panel here, you see uh, the same image that we saw here, but there's this box over it. And this is indicating that this is a Doppler image. In this case, we're looking for focal abnormal perfusion. Because when you have a patient with postmenopausal bleeding, uh, if they're on tamoxifen, which is an agonist at the level of the endometrium, you may have endometrial hyperplasia, and that may account for the bleeding, or they may have endometrial cancer that's causing the bleeding. So you're looking for any abnormal flow to this endometrium, any abnormal focal flow that would suggest that there is an endometrial cancer, which we don't see. There's no focal abnormal flow to suggest uh, an endometrial cancer, but we do have a thickened and cystic endometrium, just like we saw right here. Same image, just with this box showing we're evaluating for flow. And on a coming image here, as promised, we do have a measurement. So you can see that it measured uh, about 0 0.6 centimeters or 6 millimeters, uh, which is uh, thickened. But in this case, uh, this was a case of endometrial hyperplasia, likely due to tamoxifen.